It's that time again, cruise news time, and we got several items in the news, some good, some bad, uh, some record-breaking, so let's get down to it, let's start off with the bad, some people trying to smuggle. So after getting off the, uh, an MSC cruise, some, uh, Two sisters were arrested for smuggling cocaine into the country. Uh, at first, the drug dog was on board the ship, and the drug dog gave the sign at their room of cocaine. So they lured the girls off the ship by saying a couple of their bags needed to be inspected. Some of the bags that didn't have the cocaine. The rest of the stuff went through security. And they didn't confiscate it at the time of going through security. They needed the girls to grab their bags to make sure it was theirs so they could catch them in the act. And after they got through to the U.S. side of customs, that's when they were arrested. One of the sisters said that what had happened was they had a stop, a port stop in Jamaica and the two sisters went to one of the sister's friend's place. And the other sister said she was in the restroom, the bathroom, and he must have put it in her bag at the time. And she noticed that the bag was a little heavy. And he gave them another bag for their personal items. And she paid no mind to it. But here's the thing that goes against her story. That... The two bags, the total weight of the cocaine came out to be five kilos, which was like four bricks. And the bricks of cocaine was sealed, sewn up into the lining of the bag the lining in between the inside of the bag and the outside so the lining was opened the bricks were put in there in each bag and sewn the lining was sewn shut so how long was she in the restroom for that to happen and come to find out neither of the sisters really paid for the cruise most of the cruise was paid for by the person in jamaica so these two sisters were arrested coming off the msc escape but they did not escape the law smuggling in the cocaine next news item a holiday has a record-breaking setting for a cruise port the vancouver cruise port this last weekend was a four-day weekend in Vancouver in all of British Columbia. It was BC Day. And they were predict estimating going through the Vancouver cruise port. And it was correct. 500,000 cruise passengers. Not only was it because of BC Day were these people off and taking cruises. It was also the winding down of the Alaskan cruise season. The April to August time frame for the Alaskan cruise, cruise season. And 500,000 people going through this one cruise port. That's a lot of people just for a weekend. Just for four days. So it's a great setting. Like this cruise port, it, people, this is one of their favorite ports to stop at. Vancouver is a great city to to travel to, to sightsee at. And they got all this tourism, all this travel, all these cruise passengers going and spending the money. It was well-deserved for the Vancouver economy. BC Day, 500,000 cruise passengers going through the Vancouver port. So now the last news item, a cruise line has got in their newest ship. That's right. Norwegian cruise lines has received their newest prima class ship, the Norwegian Viva. 
And as I've mentioned before, this cruise ship is its home port is Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricans will be able to cruise a lot easier because they got the Norwegian Viva, a nice huge Prima class ship. Norwegian has received it from the shipbuilders. It has passed its sea tests. It has, it's ready to go. It's about to embark on its maiden voyage. And we are excited to see how some of the videos come out. Hopefully some vloggers are on there. All these new ships going on their maiden voyages. Hoping for vloggers to be on there. Uh, the Prima class. Of course, the first one was Norwegian Prima, and now the Norwegian Viva. There's two ships already, and they're planning for six ships in the Prima class. Their big class for Norwegian Cruise Lines. The four cruise, correction, three cruises I've been on, fourth will be this January, has been Chris Jericho, Rock and Wrestling, Rager at Sea, the Chris Jericho Cruise. See the belt behind me. It's in my new videos. Uh... I love Norwegian. Great staff, great, great atmosphere. Uh, it's a theme cruise that I go on, and but the Norwegian staff is all around amazing. Great customer service, great food, and both of Sheehan's and the buffet. Well, Sheehan's has my favorite drink on the on the cruise. The Blue Glacier ha has my Jameson in it. And, but it's an amazing drink. It's love Norwegian. I want to go on probably the Prima. I, I want to see the Prima class. I, I the breakaway I would kind of want to go on to. Uh, but other ships I want to go on. I want to go on all the cruise lines so I can let you guys know. Being a travel agent, and just like I always say at the end of my videos. Text me, email me, call me. Let me help you make your dream vacation a reality. Irish Extreme Cruise Bookings. Let, let's make it a reality. Let's have your dream vacation of a lifetime. Hit me up.